Welcome, and today we have Enki Bello here at Savo Latino Global. I met Enki at um, my friend Nubia's house yesterday, and for some reason, she was playing the harp, an electric harp, no less, and I could have sworn that I've heard the same person playing at Bergen Community College last year, right? Last right, year right. they had a performance, it was called... Yeah, the World on a String is uh, an Ars Nova concert that they do every semester at Bergen Community College. So. And she was rocking it. Let me tell you, I've never heard anything like it with a drummer, <laughs> right? I mean, you, I literally was like jumping out of my seat. <laughs> so, Enki, um, tell us about yourself. You come from Colombia. Yeah, thank you for having me here. It's such a pleasure. Uh, yes, I am from Colombia. Uh, my name is Enki Bello. I play the electric harp. And um, I came five years ago. And, uh, you know, um, went to school first, um, still last semester, at the William Patterson University, uh, going for uh, music uh, business, and then trying to, you know, get my music out there. Yeah, and she has hard. this gorgeous instrument that she just rocks it. And you're going to get a little taste of that in a little while. Um, as I said, I, I met um, Enki at Nubia's house, one of my friends from church. But um, the first time that I encountered her and experienced this wonderful music that she produces was at Bergen Community College. And Ber you did attend Bergen Community, right? You were graduated from there? Yeah, I started, mm -hmm. um, I started first uh, like learn, learn, learning the language, English, at Bergen Community College. And eventually, um, I started music business there for two years. Uh, I graduated mm -hmm. there. And then I transferred to William Patterson University. Yeah. And you're what in your third or fourth year? At, uh, oh, I'm I'm a senior, so this is my basic ah. my last semester. Oh, yeah. Very good. So you're graduating this June? Yeah, in May. Right. Actually, May 13th. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Very finally. proud of yeah. you. And I was just asking <laughs> Anki about you know, it, you know, getting scholarships, right? How important that is for music majors that you know. Today, there's so many scholarships out there on the table, but if you don't know who to go to and you know, how to apply for them. Tell us about, you know, the process and who you went to. Because she's getting her education for free and, you know, it's yeah. just awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, I am so lucky to say that um, I'm, I'm so fortunate that um, I, I got some scholarships for talent, for mm -hmm. being a good student, having a yeah. good GPA is so important. Absolutely. And the actual government, the United States government, like mm -hmm. really supports uh, the education. So mm -hmm. I really encourage everybody who wants to go to college uh, that there's so many ways to get mm -hmm. it, like even without paying anything. You mm -hmm. just have to be a good student. Maybe if you, if you have a talent, like sports, music, whatever mm -hmm. um, you definitely are gonna get a scholarships there's so many funds for that always mm -hmm. for the and like what is it the minimum GPA 2.5 3.0 like like around 3 3.5 3 3 it depends on the mm -hmm. scholarship but the higher the, the GPA the higher the scholarship for sure the high, yeah the so higher, it is like 3.5 money above. that you qualify for absolutely so you probably have to pay you're getting your education completely free, completely for free. yeah and, you just have um, to maintain it be a good yeah. student on learning mm -hmm. and learning yeah mm -hmm. So if you were to sit down for a mentoring session with a young, you know, aspiring musician, say six years old, right, what would you tell them to do and not do, you know, if they wanted to grow up to become a musician of like a harpist or you know. any other instrument? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's a great age, first of all. Six years old is the perfect age to start um, mm -hmm. any dream that you have. So especially at that age, I would yeah. say, just whatever you like, uh, just follow it. Just mm -hmm. go for it. Uh, dreams always become true. And this is the yeah. perfect country for it, like to achieve anything you want. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of uh, like hard work, uh, a lot of effort. Um, just uh, get inspired by other people. Follow what they do. I try mm -hmm. to create your own unique uh, thing that you have to, that you want to do. And always think out, outside the box. That's kind of like, I always think about that. Think outside the box. Do yeah. something that nobody has ever done before and try to improve it as much as you can, yeah. And practice, practice, practice. Oh my God, yeah, so many How hours. many hours do you practice? I mean, I used to start like nine hours, especially when I was recording my first album, I would like practice like nine hours, uh, nine like hours a, day, a day, maybe more or something, but eventually, because mm -hmm. I started to go to school and then working like, like private or public, any kind of shows, everything, like it's less time that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you craft something after like 15, 16 years that I've been doing mm -hmm. it, you get to practice less. But mm -hmm. still, you need always to practice. No matter like mm -hmm. how old you are as a musician, mm -hmm. you always like so need to put start, like a lot of time yeah. into it. You started it. playing the harp at what age? Well, like around uh, six. Oh, uh, okay. So. I mean, 
I remember like a strumming the, like because I had I always saw a harp when I was home because my father was a harpist oh, and my mom okay. too. So we always had a harp like in oh, the line. So that room was the key ingredient. We didn't get that her mother and father are harpists. Yeah, they so were. You were, you were serenaded as a child. I know. Realize. Even before I was born, like my father would play the harp for my mom. Beautiful. Oh, so that's it's so like romantic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he had her with at the harp. Oh, definitely, definitely. He had her heart with the harp. Yeah, probably. I I think that they, they share the same passion. Yeah. So I was looking that's at the lovely. harp like in the in the living room, and mm -hmm. I would like just curious like of when course. i was little i don't even remember but yeah. i i got so curious you followed in their footsteps and then i told so my father proud of you yeah well yeah <laughs> yeah they are like my foundation i really thank them for mm -hmm. all the help that they did for that yeah. all the things that they did for me yeah nice and they did a great job yeah, yeah so i encourage you to follow in enki's footsteps i mean she's thank doing a, a very good job and i'm sure you're going to enjoy the performance that she's going to uh, bless us with in a few minutes thank you. um this is one of her cds you have another one coming out it's called rocking on harp and you started um on the harp and then you decided suddenly that i want to be uh playing the electric harp like what is the difference and what motivated you to change to the electric harp? Well, the difference, um, the acoustic harp, which is Latin harp, it was made in Colombia. Uh, it's acoustic, so it's made of wood. It has more okay. like a folk kind of sound, more like mm -hmm. acoustic. This one, it has more like a modern sound because it's electric, mm -hmm. as you can see. Mm -hmm. it, it goes direct, you need amplification for that. You can do a lot of different like um, effects and everything. So mm -hmm. that's pretty much the, the difference between sounds. Like this is more like a modern kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And who, like what mo mo motivated me is what you said. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I always wanted to like approach the young audience. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And I figured that uh, when I saw Deborah Henson, she's um, an American harpist, a blues harpist, and she plays mm -hmm. electric what is her harp. Name? Deborah Hanson. Deborah Hanson. Yeah. Okay. So she's American, and uh, she. When I saw her, and I'm like, got so inspired because I really mm -hmm. like what she does. She's probably playing the harp for like 30 years almost. Wow. So that's one so, of your role models. And yeah, in the harp world, yes. definitely, definitely. She's great. She plays blues. She plays different kind of music. But when mm -hmm. I saw her, I'm like, I really like the electric harp. It mm -hmm. has different sound, more m m like modern. Mm -hmm. So and you can get integrate to that into different genres of music. Absolutely, or, absolutely. Like, like, give us an example. I mean, I, uh, my main genre, like I want to get into it, is like pop music with a little okay. bit of electronic foundation, like a mm -hmm. lot of uh, electronic like tracks, music, whatever. Uh, but you can definitely do anything with a harp, mm -hmm. uh, with a harp like this. Even though it has like a modern sound, like electric sound, you can mm -hmm. do Latin music, which is rock what I'm doing. Music, rock music, a rap. blues, like rap, you can mm -hmm. accompany you a had a drummer yeah. too, and he was... Exactly, yeah, you mm -hmm. can do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. It's whatever you want to go for. So okay. how you define and, yourself? And you know, based on, she has 11 songs here, and I'm telling you, she has Live in La Vida Loca, No Si Se Son Excusas, which mm -hmm. she wrote, yeah. he wrote by Enrique Iglesias, Oca Boca Loca? Salsa, yeah. That's oh, mine. really? Okay. Yeah. Oca Boca Loca. What was the, how did you come up with that name? Uh, I thought it was kind of commercial because it rhymes. The three mm -hmm. words rhyme. Mm -hmm. So when we do the chorus, it kind of rhymes. And then, bit. you know, hips don't lie because she's Colombian. She's oh, representing yeah. Shakira. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And Lambara, which is one of my favorites so far. And she's going to play that. And then you have another one. Uh, what is this? Quiero Construir which you co-wrote with Rodrigo Espinosa. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we've, uh, we've done a lot of songs with him, mm -hmm. uh, like social. And just so you can see, this is Enki in the element here, getting down. She looks like a rocker, hard <laughs> chick, okay? <laughs> Thank so, you. <laughs> you know, I'm saying, you have a lot to uh, look forward to in the next few minutes. Um, so I would just like to say, you know, thank you on such short notice for coming. Um, thank you. For I met her me. at a party, and I was like, "What are you doing tomorrow? I'm filming a show. Come yeah. by. <laughs> you know, you're in the neighborhood." And um, so I'd like to thank you for coming. And I just want to know, like, what is your plan going forward? You're gonna graduate college. What are you looking to do? Are people like lining up at the door to like get you to play for them? Well, um, any shows coming up? Well, as I, to as I told you first, I mm -hmm. think uh, any musician, no matter what talent you have, it, you should go for education. Like mm -hmm. having that academic path, I think is Absolutely. a must. And the reason why I went for music business is mm -hmm. because that is such a complex industry that you really need to know what it's mm -hmm. all about, you know? Yes. So it doesn't matter what you want to go for. Even if you still mm -hmm. want to be an artist, it's good to know about everything like publishing, touring, merchandising, uh, anything that has to do with the industry so you kind of know how to handle it, how to work with people, how to 
you know, mm -hmm. how to get involved. Mm -hmm. So my plan basically is um, keep going as a performing artist okay. and try to get this new project that I have with Electric Harp out there to the young audience because I want to really mm -hmm. approach them. It's going to take Absolutely. me a while, but I want to get that modern sound that, mm -hmm. um, like Lindsay Starling, she's a famous violinist, mm -hmm. uh, hip hop violinist, and she's such an inspiration because she took uh, a classical instrument, yeah. you know? that everybody knows it mm -hmm. in the classical world and she took it into like something so modern so electronic yeah. music so i want to get that sound so that's kind of my plan mm -hmm. to get something unique really outside so the box it sounds to me like you're becoming a role model for this younger generation i, I can I see wish, a lot not more yet, not yet. younger <laughs> people taking up electric harp and <laughs> and look at this beautiful instrument i, I was asking her how much did this cost it's about roughly eight thousand dollars so <laughs> you know you better be serious if you really want to yeah. get to this point but it's a beautiful <laughs> instrument beautiful girl and Thank she's you. gonna make you some beautiful music so i think without further ado we're going to have enki give you a little taste of lambada and living la vida loca all right thank you <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.